Good morning to all of you. Welcome to the Law of Taught Students. Our today's topic is Evolution of the Law of Taught or Development of the Law of Taught particularly in India. The first sentence I want to emphasize on you that Law of Taught traveled to India via England through the common law principles. Common law which was in vogue in England, it has travelled to India and the second sentence is law of torts is not a codified law and the third sentence is the judge, no doubt even though it is not a codified law, the judge will deliver the justice, uh, deliver the judgment by using three legal principles that is uh, justice, equity and good conscience. Right, then Tomorrow we are going to discuss the definition part, but still I tell you, tort is a Latin word which is, a, which is derived from the so-called Latin word tortum, T-O-R-T-U-M, which means to twist or curved or not straight, crooked, all these things. We explain you why they have uh, used the sport words, but please remember, the word taught, they have gained enormous significance uh, in countries uh, like USA and uh, U UK. But still, we are getting back. No doubt, taught is a civil wrong, which is not a criminal wrong. Please remember, taught can be used as a civil wrong, a criminal wrong, also at times, like assault, battery, or defamation. When we come to the particular topic, you will be able to understand them. Right. So the legal system in England is by both combination of uh, common law principles and civil law system. Courts of Chancery. So if you pronounce the name, you will get confused anyway. So this came from England. So please remember the tort law developed uh, from 9th to 10th century. Now it is, uh, we are in 19th century and 20th century. In this 20th century, new topics like negligence, uh, motor vehicle side, compensation, all these things uh, they have developed. But the thought of negligence, the evolution, when you are discussing evolution, you have to remember a cutoff point that is uh, 1066, where the Norman conquest of England, that means the uh, Norwegians, William the Conqueror, he conquered England. Normally, we are under the impression that the British people ruled the entire country. Ravi Asthaminchani Samaraj Arukunno. They were conquered by these Norman people. So, this is called Norman Conquest in 1066. Then, the so-called Spanish language, it has assumed importance. So, therefore, the Latin words, all of them take place because the judiciary in England, they used to speak uh, the Spanish. That's why most of the maxims are in Latin, Roman or Spanish. So, law of torts, it is based on the principles of uh, common law. Common law is available to us in the form of precedents. So, please remember, what is a precedent? Precedent means previously decided case law. So, there is no specific code even in England also. Slowly, if a person comes and says, so, he has uh, uh, come, uh, ab abducted my wife. So, if any person abducts the wife, he should be punished for three years. Somebody says and complains that uh, he has assaulted me. If for assault, one year punishment. Somebody says that he has committed rape. Yes, for this, this thing. He has uh, cheated me for this. So, these are all common laws. So, they have been taken as precedents and ultimately the codification has come. But law of torts is not a codified law. Right, please remember, already I told you, <coughs> the, in the case of 1995, this case is better, you know. Naval Kishore versus uh, Rameshwar Nath. Naval Kishore versus Rameshwar Nath and others 1995. So, the court held that the tort rules should be made applicable as per Indian atmosphere. Indian atmosphere, please remember. Therefore, even though I told you the tort law is not codified, with the evolution slowly, the acts have come into existence. The tort law, yesterday I told you, MB Act, 
Yesterday I told you the Consumer Protection Act 2019. Likewise, so many other acts also have come into existence with the evolution of the tort law. Therefore, you have to call it as a tort law. Another case law in J. Lakshmi Salt Works Private Limited, J. Lakshmi Salt Works Private Limited versus State of Gujarat, 1994. It is clearly held that the entire law of torts is morally structured. Morally based and unstructured. So for social development and ordinary development, tort law is more important. Therefore, I have given the example of uh, the young boy coming from his house to the law college in a near route. Because of the condition of the road not good, he falls down and receives injury. Then what to do? Normally in India, we don't encourage them to go and file cases. But this is become morally structured. But you have to use the right. So for using the same, so many laws have come into existence. Straight away, we can't call them as top laws, but they are different laws, but they can be used for giving compensation. Number one, Judicial Officers Protection Act 1950. So you cannot abuse a judicial officer. If there, you have to pay compensation. Second is Indian Carriers Act 1865. Third one is Cattle Trespass Act 1871. I am sure still this is being used in some or other occasions. Easement Act 1882. We discussed about the easement tax in your land laws. Or uh, I think when jurisprudence comes, uh, I will tell you in detail about the easement tax. Workmen's Compensation Act. We are going to discuss as a part of our syllabus. In this curriculum, in this uh, semester itself, we are going to discuss Workmen's Compensation Act 1923. But you will deal with in detail in the uh, labor laws. Then War Injury within brackets Compensation Act 1943. Then Fatal Accidents Act 1955. Yes, we have to discuss the same after the ME Act topic is over. Then Trade and Merchandise Act 1958. Yesterday I have given the example of uh, the subway case. This comes under Trade and Merchandise Act. Specific Relief Act 1963. So this is relating to civil cases. So whenever you discuss uh, the land laws, you will be discussing the specific relief act. Then Air Act, Carriage by Air Act 1972 and Bhopal Gas Leak Disaster within Broadway Processing of uh, Claims Act 1985. We are discussing in our uh, uh, sub in this semester only and Consumer Protection Act and AMA Act. These acts are there specifically made basing on the tort law. That's why don't be under the wrong impression that since the tort law is not at all codified, there is no specific law. These laws are based on the tort law. Okay, right. So, slowly the evolution of tort law. And last point I want to tell you. Article 372 of the Constitution of India says, common law principles have also to be applied. They can be applied in the shape of the precedents. So, common law principles are law. You can say otherwise the law of torts, they can also be applied. But where to file the case? This is only a civil case. You have to file before a civil municipal magistrate and he will, using the justice, equity and good conscience, he will deliver the judgment, of course. He will give normally compensation only. With this, the topic of evolution of the law of torts and <coughs> so-called the present acts which are being termed and treated as a tort laws we have discussed. With this, I am concluding. Thank you very much. Please read the case laws once again so that you will be enriched with the knowledge of the tort law. Thank you.